What's up, metalheads? All right, today I'm going to be installing some skiff rocket glide bearings in my buddy Craig's tactile rock wall. Um, he sent this knife into the channel for me to check out and do an overview of, and uh, along with some other knives. And he's been a big supporter of the channel, so uh, as a thank you to him, I'm going to install some rocket glides in his rock wall. So let's take it apart. Um, Looks like the show side is going to be the way to go, so let's jump right in. Looks like all T8s on a little knife. That's awesome. Let's check and see. T8. T8. All right. I like seeing that. And we will be using the good screw to take it apart. All right. Let's start down here. Mm, pretty tight. I think there's definitely some Loctite on there. Yeah, definitely some Loctite. Hmm, pivot wasn't that tight. I think he's probably adjusted the pivot since he's owned it though, so that's no surprise. That one goes there. I think I gotta unthread that one a little bit more. This one feels like it's just free spinning, so. Hmm. What's going on here? Why does that not want to let go? Maybe put some pressure on the pocket clip, maybe. Definitely some tight tolerances here. push that pivot through and see if that will help us here hmm she's not wanting to cooperate man that is on there tight Backspacer spacer is free and for the pocket clip moving. This screw does not want to come out for some reason. Although it's most of the way out. It's just spinning in there. Pretty simple construction. Honestly, three screws, but it's not wanting to cooperate with me. Let's push up on the scale as we try to loosen the screw and get it to come out. Let's see if we can get some separation here. And we are, do have some separation. The screw just does not want to cooperate there though. And the pivot does not want to break free either. Almost like some of the uh, Loctite got in here or something. So, we got a plastic pry bar here so we don't scratch anything. See if we can... There we go. Man. That thing was on there. What's going on here? see anything on that pivot but all right man so how many balls we got in here how many balls we got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine balls on the factory bearings how many balls do the skiffs have 11 balls so we get two extra balls everybody likes two balls right i like my two balls anyway so <clears throat> all right let's uh get an alcohol pad here Clean everything up nicely. That pivot doesn't even want to come out, so I'm not even going to attempt to take it out. I'm just going to clean it up right in place. So 
some seriously tight tolerances on this knife, which is a good thing. Um, made very well, it looks. My first rock wall here, so. One side done. Look at this, the way the pocket clip is integrated into the bike spacer. The tolerances are, are so tight that it's staying together. I mean, just really, really good tolerances here. All right, let's get in here. Even the stop pin not coming out because the tolerances are so good. And you can see where the bearing track is starting to wear in there. That's interesting. Is there a washer in there, or is that just the bearings directly on the titanium? If there's a washer in there, I can't see a seam where it's sitting. Hmm, I don't know. It works well, whatever it is. Not broke, not going to fix it, so. Alright, let's, uh, these are, should be super clean, they're from Skiff, so but we'll just go ahead and wipe them down just in case. All right. Everything you see used in this uh, video, all the lubricants, the bits, uh, everything will be listed below in the description. The good screw will not be. Uh, if you want to get a good screw, follow Get Good Screw on Instagram. They do drops periodically, so they're awesome. By the way, I recommend getting one. They're not cheap, but man, they're so nice. And we are using Pro Shot Zero Friction. As our lubricant. All right. We want that side facing the blade. Oh, let's put some lube underneath it first, and around that pivot. And we want that side facing the blade. I did not clean the blade yet. And it looks pretty dirty, actually. This thing had pretty good action. I guarantee it's going to be better with these skiffs. I can already tell you. It will be better with these skiffs. And this cleaning. No doubt in my mind. I don't know if uh, Craig has ever disassembled this knife before. But it's kind of dirty. And with the uh, higher ball count, it will make it better also for sure. Alright. So... Where did my doodad go? Interesting. The way that cutout there is. I'm not sure what that's all about. I need some more lubricant. too much there we go alright that side facing the blade much all right I'm gonna lube up these balls you don't want a lot of lubricant guys you just want to coat everything the more lubricant you put in it the more lubricant that is there to catch dust and <coughs> other stuff and uh, it's just gonna cause you problems so you do not need a lot of lubricants this is a very interesting design the way they've done this backspacer with the pocket clip very interesting indeed. Put a little bit up here. A little bit on this detent ball. That's the wrong one. That one's dry already. <laughs> That's why there's no lubricant coming out. And throw these away. All right. So, stop pin, it's going to go right there, P 
pivot right there. This thing sucks tight tolerances. This could be tricky, honestly. Getting this all lined up. It's gonna be tricky. For show. Sure. Alright, I'm gonna try to hold it by the pocket clip on the back side, keep those holes aligned. It's not really gonna work though. That's gonna be the tricky part, getting these holes to line up here with this back spacer and this pocket clip. Cause there's no screws on the other side to hold it in place, so uh just gotta get it lined up just right. I think that stop pin's going in there properly. I can slide that in later, honestly. Let's just get this lined up and then we can slide that in after we're done. Are we in there? I think we're in there. It's so tight. You can't even feel it clip in or anything. The tolerances are so tight. All right, I'm gonna start this screw in the back right here. Hold that one in. It's easy to straighten up and align the other screw hole. Once you got this one in there. Hitting right in the right spot here. Right, this one's tricky. This one's definitely a little bit tricky. Line up right there. That should be good. All right, there we go. Now we're hitting, hitting pay dirt. Throw the pivot in there. We're not tightening anything down right now. We're just snugging everything. Let's see if this lines up now. Yeah. I can tell. See this pivot right or this bearing right there? on the show side, it's not seated in there properly. I don't know if tightening it down is going to make it seat properly or not, but I see more bearing there than I would like to. I think it's seated properly now. Still got blade play. No blade play. These are not tightened down all the way by here yet either. Go ahead and tighten those down. Centering is off a bit. Let's see if we can correct that. Just a hair off. Oh, too tight. I had it too tight. Alright, no longer see that bearing in there. Check our blade play. No blade play. Alright. I'm not gonna Loctite this yet because the action is definitely improved though. Goodness gracious. Because I want to uh, make sure everything's good first. And when I do decide to Loctite it <coughs> and I'm comfortable with it, what I will do, take one screw out, put Loctite on it, put it in. Take the next one out, do them one at a time. I'm not going to completely disassemble the knife to Loctite it, so, but I will Loctite it, <coughs> excuse me, when I'm done, but man, it did not drop like this before. Man, so tight to get into some thoughts. Goodness, drastic improvement, honestly. Pretty drastic improvement. Definitely did not drop that well. 
get that lubricant all moving around in there and it'll get even better. Great sounds on this knife. Great ting. My only complaint about this knife is access to the thumb studs is tight. It's really tight. You get it just right. It's one of those things you once you get adjusted to it, you'll know exactly where to hit it. But if you're not flipping it all the time, you gotta really think about where you're gonna put your thumbs or your middle finger. But yeah guys, there we go. That's the skiff install. And just so you know, if you're interested in which skiffs to order, it's listed on their website. But it is the uh three sixteenths pivot, one sixteenth balls, and eleven ball count. So you want to pause that and take a screenshot you can those are the uh correct ball bearings for the rock wall and we will put his factory ball bearings in this bag when we so we can send those back to him actually i'll clean those for him also before i send them put them in the pouch you don't have to worry about these corroding at all so you don't need lubricant on them for storage anyway you want lubricant on them for action but you don't need lubricant for storing them yeah, we will put these in here and in here and I'll write a little piece of paper I'll write rock wall and drop it down in this bag with it so uh, they don't get mixed up with anything when he gets it back but yeah I like it big difference already a little bit of a little bit uh trickier than I thought it would be to disassemble this knife but it's because of how well it's built it's not because there's anything wrong with it it's because there is zero zero play anywhere it has to be 100 percent perfectly aligned to get anything back together so tight tolerances fantastic impressive actually i cannot wait to see what tactile does next their next knife design i'm so excited to see what they do next next i hope they do something a little bit bigger so far everything they've done has been pretty much uh more like a gentleman's carry i do want to check out the uh bear also i have not checked out a bear not a big slip joint guy, but just because it's made in the USA and it's made so well, I'd like to check out a bear also at some point in the future. So if anybody has a bear they'd like to send in for an overview, let me know. i uh, love to check it out. I don't think I'll ever buy a bear. I don't know. Maybe it'll change my mind if I get one in hand just because I don't, I'm not crazy about slip joints, but I don't know. I wasn't crazy about this knife till about right now, to be completely honest with you, because the action wasn't fantastic before. It was good, but it wasn't fantastic. Now it's, oh, now it's, well, once I find the thumb stud, it's very good. Let's make sure there's no play. No play at all. Zero play. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys on the next one.